lot of places wearing a mask is a personal choice, but just hours before the fi first live performance at DPAC, the venue sent out notices asking everyone to put them on. Yeah, some folks tell us that they would have worn them anyway because of concerns over the Delta variant. DPAC is rocking for the first time since the pandemic. Welcome to DPAC. And so are Ginger Curl and Jennifer Dolan. Awesome. Awesome and a little nerve wracking. Fans received this email from DPAC just hours before the show started asking all guests to wear masks. Dolan says she's happy to do whatever it takes for the show to go on. I I think personally we have to get to a place where we're starting to go back. Of course, I've been vaccinated, but you know, I'm happy to still wear a mask and um, you know, get back to living. Sunday marked the most COVID cases we've seen since late February. I'm cautious, but at the same time, uh, I'm not afraid. Several fans tell us the vaccine and the mask requirements are the reasons they are comfortable seeing the British rock band perform in person. Uh, it's a little nerve wracking because of the uh, Delta variant. Yeah. But that's why I'm wearing the mask. Totally confident in having the vaccine, and I know they're requiring masks tonight, so I uh, feel pretty confident, confident about that. So not really worried. Like many summer concerts, Squeeze was originally scheduled to come in 2020. Is this the longest you've ever waited for a concert? Yes, it is. <laughs> That excitement met with some concern. Dolan sent CBS 17 this photo from inside the concert, and it shows fans removing their masks after sitting down, which she says made her a little bit nervous. Now, after hearing about Dolan's concerns, we did reach out to Deepak to see what happens when fans remove their masks, and we haven't gotten an answer back just yet.